Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm a little bit scruffy. This is actually trimmed, so even though I've had this beard for about a week, if I didn't trim it, it would look a lot worse. <laughs> Seeming today is the world's greatest shave, I thought couldn't have asked for a better day to get rid of this. Um, I don't mind the beard look actually, once in a while, um, but then I do like the clean shaven look sometimes too, so I am mixing it up. But before I destroy this, I'm uh, <laughs> along my way as I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to show you a few funky little beard styles that you could work with. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, I have no more shaving foam or shaving cream. So I'm just going to use some revitalizing Q10 cream and we'll see how we go. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> Shave my eyebrows too. Um, sorry. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the goatee very popular in the 1990s and I have to say it's one of my least favorite bits of facial hair. The problem with the goatee is not really the way it looks. I don't think it looks that bad in general. I know it's a bit outdated but one of the problems with the goatee is it seriously makes you look fat. I'm not lying. Like people that have goatees they could be skinny out but one like a bit of movement in the face, and you look, you look fat. Um, this is more the bikey gang look. Um, it's really meant to look tough. Maybe if I do this. Maybe now I'm more intimidating. Yeah, nah. I really think this is pretty bad. And I've seen it here and there. Um, and I, I don't think any, any guy can really pull this off. It's just so <laughs> aggressive looking, this facial hair. It's just yells trouble. Um, yeah, I really don't like it. Yeah, yeah, you see this? This bad boy has many names. Um, I don't want to get too detailed with them, because <laughs> most of them are pretty naughty, but again, this look, seedy, immature, I could barely handle it. Um, this little tickler over here. Again, it's something that's popular in the past and that's where it should stay, I think. And don't think I'm not giving the moustache a bad time. This overall look is a combination of two really, really horrible things on the face. So, I recommend this not. Do you like what you see, baby? Why don't you come on down to my pen and I'll show you what I like to do. Okay, the moustache. This is a bit more common. Um, of course, Brandon Flowers from The Killers had the moustache. Uh, Brad Pitt's had the moustache. Johnny Depp's had the moustache. Um, I think the moustache is something that should be reserved for slightly more mature men. And by that, I mean guys in their 30s, 40s, max. Now, if you have a moustache in your 50s, you're a pedophile. Well, you look like one. But the moustache in the peak of the 30s and the 40 year old range is, I think, suitable for some people. Hmm. But wait, there's more. Driven in Haven, Stone, Liebenhegen, mit St. Hawkins Schwarz und Gieber, mit Hagen, mit Snoop und Legen. 
I have no idea what I just said. I don't even know if that was German. Don't wear this around. It is outdated by about 60 years. It doesn't leave a good message behind for people. It's kind of like wearing a fuck you t-shirt. But then again, people do that. So, n no. No, no, no. In my personal opinion, I think the two basics are the better looking facial hair structures. What I mean by that is I think that the clean shaven look is just refreshing. It's refreshing and you look more alive, more awake, uh, more clean. But I also do like the beard on about a five day growth. Um, a trimmed beard could always look good because uh, that's what makes us men. Um, yeah, women are very subjective. Some women love beards, other women hate them. You can't please them all. Um, but that had to be the worst shave of my life, okay? <laughs> Without shaving cream, it hurts, all right? My face is stinging right now. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you some funky facial hairstyles um, for all you men. And a few of you ladies out there that could grow a beard. Um, Tell me what you think. Do, do you like a person in the beard? Or do you prefer um, a person to be clean shaven? And why do you think so?